Hey everybody, um, so we're going to look at uh, if statement in uh, Dynamo with Python, and it's really easy to do, um, and I'm not an expert in Python, but I think anybody can do this, and there may be even a better way to do it, but I still think it's kind of fun to show. Um, uh, I was working on a script that would create rooms um, from CAD files, and there was two inputs that uh, needed the level as the input, and then there was also an input or a um, a drop down where you would select a index number, so that you could select a specific CAD file from your links, and um, generally based off of the way they linked in those CAD files, those uh, indexes. Um, um, corresponded with the level that it needed to be on. So if it was on index zero, which would, in, in computer science would be like one, um, that would be if the CAD file was brought in at, on level one, index zero would be level one. And so instead of having to change the index and then go and change uh, the level nodes, what we could do is have one script um, just kind of do that for us by taking in the index value um, and then using that to determine what the levels are going to be. Um, so it's really easy to do. And it and also, um, you'll have to update the template. I mean, update your model uh, or the script if you have more levels, um, you know, say if you're creating it. Because in this example, we are creating a bunch of projects with those these CAD documents, multiple Revit models, and um, each of them were different levels, but they never went over three levels. Um, but if those levels don't exist, one of these nodes won't uh, recognize that that level exists until that level is brought into Revit. So keep that in mind when you're um, if you're not if the if it's if this what we what we create doesn't output what you want, it may be because that level didn't exist, and you just have to add it in the uh, Python script. And you'll see a little bit more when we get into it. So let's go ahead and um, create the Python script. So you can right click in the workspace, um, just search Python, and then just dump that in there. And then what we'll do is right click and search for level. We'll copy this uh, three times for this example. Uh, we'll come over here. We'll have um, four outputs, our inputs. We'll come over here, choose level one. Now, again, these exist because the level actually exists within uh, the project. So um, if it's if you're creating a bunch of Revit models and it's typical that they have four levels, just add that level in your template so that you have that selection in this node. Um, so now we're going to plug this into these inputs. We'll start at uh, input one. We'll go down to input three. Now what we'll do is create um, a number slider, or we'll get that number slider node. So we'll right click in the workspace, and then search number. We'll find number slider right here. Now let's uh, click this number slider drop down, and uh, the minimum's fine, but we do want to change the maximum. We'll set it to uh, three. Now, if you remember, um, it starts at zero, so zero is the first number, um, which would give us index zero from like a CAD file, for, you know, for example. Um, if we were like index, we are getting an item at a specific index. Now, with that said, you can see we have four levels here, so we're essentially ha we have four options. So if I come down here and change the step to one, you'll see what I'm talking about. So if I close that, um, you can see it starts at zero, one two, three. So there's four options there. Uh, we're going to do that so that we can um, uh, have um, an output that uh, if, if we happen to, you know, go over something, over the amount of levels that we happen to have, um, then it'll give us a uh, kind of a null, a null or a warning of some sort. We can kind of configure that how we want. So um, what we'll do is take this as an output, put that or that output into um, this input zero. Now we'll go into the Python script. So if you double click uh, the Python script, uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, delete this. And then what we'll do is 
um, we'll we'll do x equals uh, n, and then we'll do the brackets. Oops, that's a b. Do brackets equals zero, so that's input zero. And now what we'll do is the uh, uh, the variable, so those inputs, so the uh, input one, two, and three, um, those are our levels. So we're just going to define those as L1, uh, L2, and then L3. And then what we can do is come up here, copy that input. We'll do equals, paste that, change this to one, equals, change this to um, two. We'll say um, equals and then three. So there you know, now we have our variables for those levels. We have those and we can leverage those in a if statement. We're going to come down here and delete uh, this bit here. Um, now what we're going to do is just come we're going to jump down below this line. Now, this it's not a big deal. I mean, this comments are really useful for general organization of your code. Um, so you can use this um, as uh, to aid in your structure. But you can come in here and add as many comments as you want. And that's just taking that percent sign and then, um, you know, putting whatever text you want there. So I could come up here and define what's going on. I could say, hey, you know, these inputs. Uh, so I could say these inputs are uh, for the levels. And that's just going to help somebody else that comes into this uh, see what these are and know exactly um, what to do um, if they're updating the script. So they don't have to kind of, you know, run it and try to figure out what all these things mean. Now, this script's going to be pretty simple, but as you can imagine, if things get incredibly complex, um, those comments are really useful. So now what we'll do is uh, if uh, x e, um, is equal to uh, 0, then we'll, uh, we'll come down here, uh, uh, tab, so just click tab, and then uh, we'll type out out, oops, out, equals um, L1. And then uh, now we're going to do it for the rest of them. So now we'll do an L if statement, which is just a uh, gives us another option. So we'll say L if equals one um, output L to lf x equals to um, two output is equal to l three. So uh, there you go. Now we have um, uh, this set up with if that uh, input zero, which is our number slider, is z um, zero, it'll output level one. Uh, if it's one, it'll output level two. And if it's level three, it'll output um, level three there. So now what we'll do is a uh, else statement. So if none of those are true, then what it'll do is output, output uh, this um, it'll output this text here that we uh, place. So we'll say out equals, you know, like no level. So something something really simple. You know, you can, and what's really cool is you can define, like in this example, we can define this however way we want. We can, you know, say, hey, uh, no level, you need to update the Python script or something um, just to give them a little bit more information. Now what we can do is just save these changes. And this is set to automatic. So um, when we start to move this uh, number slider, we should see it update. And it should be updated now. So you can see here it says no level because it's set to 3. 
we didn't create that output. So um, the last statement was just an else statement. It says, you know, if none of these are true, if none of those previous uh, if statements are true, then, um, you know, output this. So it just says no level. Um, so that's just a string value that's then outputted from here. So if you were tying a this node into another node that had a level as an input, um, you know, it would give you an error. Uh, right off the bat and then you could come here and see what's going on like okay there's no level so maybe i need to add um, another input here and then um, update the python script so if we go up to the number slider we can kind of shift this around and then we can see it update in real time so uh, again it starts at zero so if we go back to zero you'll see that that's level one um, if we go to level one that's level two uh, level two is level three. It's confusing at first, but um, after a while of getting, of uh, messing with uh, the computer uh, or just messing with Python, um, you'll kind of get used to uh, things starting at zero and you'll understand pretty quickly. You, like you could look at um, an, a list of four, um, you know, you see, you know, without counting the elements there, if you looked at the index and the last um, item was four, you could quickly um, tell that you, you know, right off the bat that that was five, uh, just because you know you simply add one to it. Um, so you know here we just slide it, and then if we slide it to the one that doesn't actually exist, is an input, a level input. It just says no level. Um, so that's what I got. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I may do more videos um, on this. I happen to uh, be working on a script where I needed to build something like this real quick uh, just to make it a little bit easier for the users using their Dynamo script. But um, uh, but generally, uh, my focus with Python is in uh, the data science um, uh, realm of things. Uh, so, But you can still reach out to me if you have any questions um, or if you're trying to do something that uh, you're having trouble with, feel free to uh, definitely comment or, or just reach out to me directly. Uh, if you like these videos, definitely like and share them and um, also subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.